two disc A and B weighing 200 Newton and 300 Newton approach each other approach each other does they travel towards each other so what is the direction is it same direction or opposite direction if one will go to this side will the other will go to this side that is called as approach remember this is my standard sign convention of velocity is it positive direction so you have to very strictly follow the positive velocity this one is a this one is i will only draw before impact second figure is always standard this one is m1 m1 is 200 divided by 9.81 kg m2 300 divided by 9.81 what was the velocity of ball a 4 will you treat this as a positive value plus 4 and is this velocity you will treat as negative value minus two. that is the only previous problem and rest everything is set what is coefficient of restitution 0.6 what we need to find out v1 we loss of energy what is delta kinetic energy loss then he says that the impact lasts for how much time 0 0.01 second time of impact 0 0.01 second so what is the average impact for very first thing can we apply law of conservation of momentum so right by law of conservation of momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u equal to m1 v1 m2 v2 as usual 9.81 always get cancelled 200 it plus 4 300 into minus 2 equal to 200 v1 plus 300 v2 even if you do not cancel we can very quickly write down this is 200 v1 plus 300 v2 this one is 800 and this one is 600 so is this answer is 200 second is coefficient of coefficient of restitution velocity of approach is what v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus e. what is the coefficient of restitution given to you 0.6 v2 minus v1 u1 is 4 this is minus and minus so what is minus v1 plus v2 this one is 6 and 6 3.6 so is v1 come out to be minus 17.6 and v2 come out to be 1.84 initial kinetic energy is given by half m1 1 square plus half m2 square equal to 1 by 2 m1 is 200 by 9.81 initial velocity is u1 is 4 square plus 1 by 2 mass is 300 divided by 9.81 this velocity is minus 2 square solve this equation and check your initial energy is it 224.26 only difference is that you have to replace for v1 and v2 1.76 and 1.84 and confirm this answer 83.34 and check your loss is initial minus final approximately 140.92 joules so f first we can write m1 into mod of v1 minus u1 divided by time of impact m1 again you have to take 200 divided by 9.81 remember your v1 is minus you have to take minus 1.7 minus as per formula u1 is 4 divided by time of impact 0 0.01 so this one is 200 9.81 minus minus is 5.76 divided by 0 0.01 this force is very very large force is it 117 something 43.11 vertical velocity of a is 1.76 but where the body will go it will go to left side and what is the final velocity of b is 1.84 but the answer is come out to be positive so as per sign convention the body will go to the right side so this one is a sign convention for us for velocity that is the positive value to the right this one is a and this one is b the mass of a m1 is equal to 100 divided by 9.81 is move on x axis in positive direction positive direction is this x axis positive so we'll call this is u1 and we assign plus 4 value Another sphere B of mass equals to 49.81 kg moving on the same x direction but in the negative direction. Negative is this is considered as minus 6. Coefficient of restoration is 0 0.7. We want to calculate what is V1, what is V2. We want to find out the loss of kinetic energy. So we have same two. That is the law of conservation of momentum. M1, U1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 again 9.81 is cancelled throughout so i write 100 times 40 times minus 6 
100 times v1 plus 40 times v2. So my first equation is 100 v1 plus 40 v2 equals to. This one is 400 minus 160, 240. Is it 160? E equals to 0.7 is v1 minus v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2. 0.7 v2 minus v1 divided by u1 is 4 minus minus 6 minus v1 plus v2 is 10 and 7 this one is equation 1 this one is equation 2 solve 1 and 2 and check your answer is v1 come out to be minus 0.85 and is v2 come out to be 6.1 check your initial quantity half m1 u1 square half m2 u2 square put Full value 100 divided by 9.81 into 4 square 40 divided by 9.81 minus 6 square 154.94 similarly solve for final currency the loss of current energy come out to be initial minus final is 74.29